Hey, what's up guys? Cam from Russia here. Welcome back to Factions. I hope you're doing great today. Today, I'm alone. I'm all alone in the world of Factions, but that's okay. So, the reason I'm alone is I'm act real life stuff. Give me a second before we get into the drama today. Actually, today's a fun one, even though I'm solo. Uh, basically, I've been studying for a test all night. I was studying with some friends, Mitch and Rumble were waiting up for me, and I just told them to go to bed. It was like, it's like it was like 11.30, I'm like, guys, get some sleep, I'm gonna be a while, I'll do the episode solo at like 12 or 12.30, whatever it is. So now, we're recording, and then I'm gonna keep studying, and then I'm going to write a test in the morning, and do good on it, hopefully. Hopefully, education is good, uh, kids, and, and adult. I don't know, I, I can't, I don't know. I, well, I'm not even going there. Hey guys, welcome back to Factions. So. Let's get started. Today's uh, lots of stuff to talk about. First off, let's get right into it. Eagle Eye, my arch nemesis, the leader of one of the brother factions that is uh, that is leading the enemy alliance. The leader of Dark Union, Eagle Eye. Again, you guys know my arch nemesis. He leaves a comment on my video, and I'm checking them before this video, and I see... Uh, uh, he says this, uh, don't ask what happened to Rumble's base, so let's go to Rumble, actually, just in case I get in a fight, <laughs> because I'm only one guy, and if we get in a fight, we are in deep, deep trouble, let's go to, uh, let's go to spawn here, because they might, I don't know, I actually messaged Rumble about how he raided it, and he said it's a secret, and I, well, I just assume they just found it, but I... I don't know. They could be waiting to jump me, so let's uh, let's at least use our crate key for the episode today before we get going. Fifty dollar armor kit giveaway! Giveaway! One of these days we're gonna win big. Again, these aren't terrible. Actually, I'll keep the diamond. Keep that. Keep that. Uh, take that. All right, let's go slash home V. So look at Rumble's base, man. Look at this thing. Absolutely destroyed. If you guys remember, this base uh, is it claimed now? Team, oh, did I claim it? Claimed by Team Nudist. The heck? I forget if we had it claimed from last episode. Did we? Oh! Oh, they didn't get the chest! Oh, baby! No, that that's our mistake then. I don't think we were supposed to claim that. I'm debating. Did, did, we, did I make a mistake and claim it last episode? Like, Rumble couldn't have claimed it. Oops. Oh, jeez. Don't mess anything up. So, never mind. I thought they raided all the chests and everything. They still raided it. The OP vault is destroyed, but I thought everything in it was gone. Like, you guys know how much freaking stuff... Well, I think we just saw that chest, didn't we? Where are you, chest? Look at this. Look at this freaking chest. Actually, this is all blaze armor, but still, it's still a pretty solid chest. Jeez Louise, I'm gonna... Here, let me just god... Let me... I'm wasting a god apple. I'm, I'm doing it. I don't have to... Yeah, see, right here. Full gas. Full gas chest. We talked about this guy last episode. It's just, okay, so it did. they didn't take the stuff. I thought it was unclaimed, so I thought they got everything. Thank God this stuff did not get in the enemy's hands. But yeah, they uh, they infiltrated it, though. They definitely, <coughs> they definitely know where this thing is. And not sure how they did it. I don't know if we can get out and come check. I assume not even a wither. That, that wouldn't make sense either. Yeah, I don't know how they did it. We'll see, though. Because this is a lot of lava, dude. This is a lot of lava. Either way, it was uh, it was found, it was infiltrated, but apparently, Rumble didn't lose any of uh, any of the stuff. So, I don't think he's gonna be too sad. Like you can see, chests are still. I don't think they got a single chest. I'm a lot happier than I was before this started. Did they get one of these? Jeez, man. All right, so Rumble still got all this stuff. That's that's good. Yeah, because he's there. Like I said, this is one of it's one of the most OP vaults I've ever seen. And, uh, the guy was quitting, and he, I don't think he's ever been raided, so he, he gave it off. I don't take handouts, but, but Rumble's been away, so he took, he took the gift and took the base. And Eagle, our arch nemesis, uh, raided it. But not completely. Rumble's still got the stuff. Uh, so he'll, I, I kind of wanted to wait to see his reaction, but I assume he'll find out before, uh, before I get to record with him tomorrow, so, yeah. Rumble's vault has been raided. We'll see what Rumble, uh, what Rumble does. I assume he's gonna move and take the stuff all with him. But, uh, we'll see. We'll, we'll see what he does. We'll, we'll, we'll take a look at it in a bit. But, yeah. Another thing about Eagle while we're on the topic is he sent me a message today saying, 
uh, that he is going to be raiding another one of uh, the Team Nudist Alliance bases tomorrow. If he's warning me, I assume it's some type of big one. Uh, so prepare. And the way I'm going to prepare for that is right now, what is our F who right now? F who, what do we got? We got, sa <laughs> is it sail on? sail on, sailor. Yeah, I think Mitch switched it to that. Slash F descript. Like, I, I've been updating this a lot now, kind of to keep, like, uh, we had it at, uh, our main enemies are the Dark Pack Alliance. If you see anybody, you obliterate them. No mercy. No mercy against those guys. Uh, but now I should say Dark Pack is planning to attack us somewhere. Planning to attack a TN base. To, uh, what should I say? Wednesday? Wednes Wednesday. Prepare your defenses because you know like some t they might get us when we're split up I just got to let the whole team know uh, Dark pack is planning to attack. We don't know where they're gonna attack. It could be our base even uh, With ours, there's not much we can do for defending but for the people who actually have claims and stuff There's something they can do Goliath v3. We haven't forgot about it. Just remember We're not really gonna talk about it until it's completely done. <laughs> just the uh, just the heads up It's it's not going out where I I'm, ex I'm I'm as excited for that thing as you guys are I hope so yeah, there is that. Eagles planning to strike tomorrow. We'll see how that plays out. Don't worry. I, I'm not going to say anything about what, what what we're planning. I'm planning something. I'm not even going to give you a day until I... I might I might tell you a day before, but yeah, I'm, I'm planning something big, but that's it. That's all the details I can go into. It may or may not be on Dark Pack. Maybe it's on some random faction, because that's what I do. No. <laughs> You know I like to target, so we'll see. They, they won't know which angle we're coming from, though, so we'll, we'll see how it goes. I'm going to take a quick break and actually have a... I, I, I have a call with, 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 a, with an enemy. No, with a neutral faction to get some, opini to some opinions on some things. And then we will roll into uh, meeting back with Aurora again. Okay, so we're moving into a, a little meeting here. A little call with, with my new friend or new neutral... Uh, person, Josh the Chicken. Hey, but hey, man, how you doing? Hey, good. Good, good, good. Yeah. It, wait, your name, your name's Josh, right? It, can I call you Chicken or Josh? Uh, Josh. Josh. Uh, <laughs> well, thanks for coming, Josh. I was uh, so basically today I've been getting comments. Swag PVP, who that is the faction you are from, is Swag PVP. You are a a trusted member, so you're kind of yes. the re representative today of Swag PVP. And I got a couple questions that I kind of wanted to set straight for myself and for everybody watching. So some individually about Swag PvP, but Swag PvP, uh, if you guys just started watching the series, they, they're from a little bit back, uh, probably two weeks back, uh, maybe three weeks, and now they're kind of coming back reborn. I've seen them on the, the F list, I've seen you guys hanging out for the past three or four days, so it's not like a one day thing. It looks like they're trying to come back, and that's awesome. I, I can't wait to see where... Our relationship goes whether it's you know negative or positive it'll still be fun uh, but yeah. Josh my first question for you is this this faction war has there has turned into two power sides the team nudist Alliance you know with God squad and uh, and, and our ally and our allies taking on the dark pack which is the dark Union wolf pack Alliance it's two big teams so as a I'm just going to call you guys a new faction, even though you're old, but you're kind of reborn. I'm going to look at the reborn. So you're a new faction. How do new players look at this? Or how do players who are factionless or who have little new factions, how do they look at the entire the entire war that's happening right now? Okay, so every new player wants to try and get into a power faction. So Wolfpack or Team Nudis, they... Everyone wants to try and get into the top faction okay. as fast as possible. Yeah. So, well, see, that's the thing. And that's where people, and this is what I kind of assumed, but people have been bringing up like, hey, like people, this person's trying to start a third power faction. And I look, I'm like, that's brave. Like, go for it. But it's just, it's going to be really tough because of people just jumping on the bandwagon to this, this ultimate war. Because this, it really is, it's, Team one versus team two, choose your side kind of thing. But yeah. now let's get into the swag PvP. So thank you for confirming that. It kind of just enlightens me on how people are thinking. And this is just, uh, you know, an, an average, well, I don't know, not average. You're a trusted member of swag PvP. You're, you're one of the top guys. 
but uh, you know, kind of giving me the the player's point of view. And uh, so what Swag PVP though? I've seen comments about them. You guys are coming back, and like I said, you've been on a lot. You've been strong. If you were, you guys are thinking of developing, trying to develop a third side. How would you go about doing that? Uh, trying to get, we're trying to get good members, which play a lot. Yeah. We don't really, we don't want to get enemied by the power factions just yet. Okay. We're trying to get strong. Yeah. Okay, that's, a, that's, that's a good strategy. Yeah, stay, stay out of both of our ways, kind of. Stay neutral with both. Yeah. Yeah, no, okay, I like that strategy. And, yeah, and then trusted members and... And then kind of work your way out from the... See if there's people, like, kind of with the same mindset as you? Yes. I like that, dude. Uh, I, yeah, I like that. Thanks for coming, dude. Good luck to Swag PvP. And as of now, we are uh, we are acquaintances, I guess you could say. Acquaintances. Thanks, dude. Yes. Okay, so there's the meeting with the Swag PvP trusted member. He was their representative. Thank you for the information, my friend Chicken or or Josh. I I don't know what's more uh, what's more formal, but all right. So recently we discovered Aurora is with the Dark Pack Alliance. I kind of felt bad for them with Ben being banned and everything, even though he was you know accused and found hacking. Uh, you know you feel bad when a leader gets banned, so they were a little weak. Apparently not anymore. We saw them in the war. They were fighting hard. They are... Okay, they're not on anymore. The Aurora... They were on the F list earlier. I've seen them on the past week or the past few days or so. Uh, they... They're working hard, but they're working hard for the wrong people. So, I didn't actually target them tonight. I actually... Yes, I found my own raid. I found my own raid, and I did it in a very cliche... Well, cliche way. The way I usually find, well, the way anyone finds their unclaimed raids without buying, slash home SV, I did a lot, a lot, actually not I don't know, Compar I, 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 compared to the hours I put into cube, I, I put about an hour into sky, first I tried doing it in the, the overworld, the sky vault hunting that, that we learned about, you know, well, not learnt, but what you do, you go to you go to the coordinates just below 250, and you just, uh, you search, you, you just go, go, go until you find a, a sky vault. So uh, I guess we should start walking. It's a little ways away. <coughs> I, I, uh, you'll see what I did here just to make sure. But I was going, and yeah, we found one in the nether. We're just above the nether, a, a you know, a very expected place for someone to put their base. Uh, you can't, the base is right over there somewhere. I dug it back, though, a lot because... Like, I, I don't I don't really like to raid things without recording because, you know, you guys are in this series as much as I am. So uh, I wanted to save it for the episode tonight. So I uh, so I just dug it back a hundred blocks or so. So it was out of distance, out of, out of viewable distance from him or her <laughs> from him or her. I think you'll see by the username. It's a it's a him because I, I don't know. You know, you know, I'm not into the random raids because especially now I, I used to be. But now it's more about ally or enemy you don't want to ruin a potential ally ship uh, there it is right there so i kind of see on see there okay because when, when i when i found it uh he wasn't on but after about 15 minutes or so because i really wanted to find out whose base it was because that's who i am <laughs> uh yeah so it turns out to be an aurora member which you know isn't huge it's not a huge coincidence because how many members do they have They've got over 100 members still. They're still a big faction. So I'll show... It's a Mr. something. Mr. Slash F who Aurora. Let's see if he's online still. Miss, no, he's not online. Mr. I'm not going to be able to find him. I'm not going to be able to find him. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. All right. Well, it's it's Mr. something and he is in the Aurora faction. Uh, but as soon as I got his name, looked him up, Aurora, I'm like, yes! Perfect. These guys, uh, yeah, so they kind of were in an awkward position. Uh, I don't know. I, I felt like we were kind of bonding like with them, especially with, like, the, the grave of, uh, we'll just, uh, slash F claim. We'll claim this just in case, just in case he logs on. Uh, I don't act, I haven't been in here, so I don't know what they've got. But yeah, it was kind of like, are we bonding? Like, you're showing us Ben Mascot's grave. We're all saying goodbye. Nope, you joined the wrong team. So, yeah, I, I think that's how it's supposed to be, though. It is Aurora. They've been here for, for a while. 
Now, what's he got here? TNT, I'll take that. I don't need the sharp threes, though. So I don't know how good this base is actually going to be. The real CJ. Heads? Don't need heads. Ryan's actually away right now. That's why he hasn't been, been on lately. He's in Seattle right now for the week. And then gets back right before we travel to Pack South. Regarding Pack South, I'll mention that quickly because factions-wise, there's actually going to be a real-life factions video because I'm, I'm meeting Stitch. Stitch YT and Rumble might, may or may not, I don't know. He probably might, probably won't come, to be honest. Uh, we'll see. Uh, but yeah, Ryan will be there. So we'll be doing a real life factions video. So that'll be on the channel some point in, uh, around the 22nd of January. No one ever carries speed, speed twos or strength twos anymore. It's all, it's always strength ones. I, I don't know why. <laughs> and then I'm just lazy to brew them, I guess. Whatever this, this is not, this is not a bad rate at all. Uh, apples, potion items, and prop three on breaking three. I'll take it. Not that, not that. Is that everything? I think that's all he's got. Not a, I don't know. Not, not a power rate, of course, but you know, it's the, uh, it's the symbol that counts. <laughs> you guys remember when I used, I, I do a solo episode every now. Ooh, whose head is, is that my head? I swear to God, if that's my head. Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Okay, good, 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 good. I, th I thought that was my head for a second. I was about to say no. No. That, no, that wouldn't have been good. I'd be embarrassed. Uh, doop. Uh, doop. Doop. Uh, actually, let's leave a little message just in case. Drop a little message here on this little obsidian. Actually, probably, probably uh, depends where his home set. We got to make sure he sees this. Because, yeah, we want to send a little message to Aurora. Because ever since our little touching moment, we really haven't had a chance to kind of see where things were. Actually, in the war we did, in the war we fought, they, they fought valiantly, actually. Very tough competitor. Due to the fact that Dark Union and Wolfpack were in a little bit of a fight, uh, they were a tough competitor. Uh, join Dark Pack Alliance. Join Dark Pack Alliance. Look what happens. <laughs> pass this on. Uh, oh, gee, pass this on to Aurora. All right. <laughs> Make sure he passes it on. Let's mine this out quickly. Oh, I kind of want those XP potions though. We'll see if they don't if they don't despawn, we'll we'll go get them. Let me just despense. I'm just going to make sure he spawns back in here. I do want him to read that message. Hopefully he does. All right, uh, let's, let's, let's leave. Let's, uh, you know what, let's just let it blow us. Boom, that's some high, oh no, I broke the sign. <laughs> I didn't even think of that. Oh, okay, I want these, I want these. I want these XP potions, because they look really good. And I guess we could use them too. All right, slash top. Nope, slash top. There we go. There we go, man. Well, I'm sorry it had to be you, Mr. Anonymous, but, uh... You are an Aurora, an Aurora member. Please pass this message on. I kind of, I didn't really know where we stand. We, we stood with Aurora, but now I think it's quite clear. They joined the enemy side. We blew up their member's base. And I gotta, uh, I'll be honest, Aurora. I don't, uh, I'll be, I'll be straight up with you to just to kind of close our brief friendship with a, with a nice goodbye. I got nothing planned yet, so you're safe for a little bit. From me, that is. I'm not going to say my allies don't have anything planned, but yeah, from me, I, I've got, uh, I've got, I've got bigger targets. I know, I know Aurora's working their way back up to the top, but at this point, I've got a couple bigger targets in mind, and, uh, we'll be hopefully striking one of our final blows on them, uh, within the week is the plan. So we'll see. We'll see. Things are underway, everybody. Thank you for the raid myself because i did it i did it <laughs> no i can't cheer for that i uh i i do that all the time so slash home f normally we'd have some time to pvp here for one actually is god squad on no for one i think i am Ooh, i should talk about quickly before we go is we we allied with pride og the reason for that is god squad says they trusted them they're uh they're a pretty strong faction. Uh, God Squad's been having at least two people on like at all times, so good to have these guys back, dude, and especially on our side. But yeah, Pride OG, strong faction, 
trusted now by God Squad. <laughs> None of them are online right now, but they I don't know, they had seven when I logged on. They're they're a strong team. So yeah, welcome to the Team Nudist Alliance. You chose the wrong or the right the wrong side. No, you chose the right side. Thank you for choosing us, and uh, we'll we'll go far together. But yeah, I think that's all I got today. I, normally, again, we could go do some some fighting, but I will get annihilated because I'm alone and. I got to do some education, guys. I got to do some education. <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed this episode. Uh, and again, not too much action. A couple strategical things were done. A couple threats were made from both sides. <laughs> just just the standard. I love me some factions, guys. Thank you for coming along in this series lately. Because I'm just... I, I, look for, I look forward to planning an episode out. And I look forward to competing in the wars that uh that are created from the drama of this series i love it and uh you know half the battle is just you guys watching the video so thank you thank you so much for watching for liking for commenting but again just for watching just for being here every single day is uh is amazing the recent five donations to the arcana from cookie craft benji 701 l ache thy be lk thy beast dmac 101 widenar 16 thank you for purchases to the archon Everybody, good luck on those crate keys, because all, all were crate key purchases. Actually, one rank. Uh, have fun with your rank, and, and good luck with your crate keys, everybody who purchased. You guys are freaking amazing. The Archon supports our thanks you for your support. Uh, come join us, pvp.thearchon.net. This, this is where you play some factions, and uh, and have a good time. Yeah, have a good one, guys. Join the rushers by subscribing. Touch that like button if you enjoyed, and I will see you tomorrow at 7 p.m. Eastern. All right, take care, everybody.